Hi everyone, I'm Winston Potgeter, uh, owner and lead developer at Nextcast Radio Automation. And about a month ago, we released our mobile VT um, web browser based voice tracking. And we wanted to make a quick video to kind of show you um, the general workflow. This is not really a tutorial video, but more of an overview video. Keep in mind, this is a browser based voice tracking system, which means it will work on um, any iOS device, a tablet or an iPhone or an iPad, an Android tablet or phone, and it will also work on a PC or Mac. Um, so this voice tracking system is extremely flexible. It allows you to go mobile, but this can also be used on a desktop as well in a browser, and that's how we're going to show it. So uh, let's get started here. Okay, so NK Manager serves as the server for the mobile VT. So that is the application that needs to be open all the time so that whoever is remotely voice tracking can log in, get their playlist, do the voice tracking, and send it back. You'll notice in the new version of NK Manager, there's two large buttons in the broadcast version and also on the on-air on version. Um, we're going to keep the TCP method. The TCP method is used for um, highly secure uh, PC if you have a... Um, voice trackers that can use a PC, they can still use that and it, it works on PC only. Now the new mobile VT um, allows you to do it in a web browser and so you'll see that um, this button is green indicating our mobile VT is running. So I can look at the status of that by right clicking on the green mobile VT button and you'll see that um, gives me status. It will have a little text list here and that will populate as we log in and we try to do stuff. So it keeps a log of all communications so that you can know if something goes wrong or if somebody tried to log in uh, with a pass without a password, etc. It also shows your public IP address and it has this cool QR code. So you can use that to have your phone directly go to the mobile VT browser. So that's basically the status window and um, I'm going to quickly show you now in Manager how to set up talent. So you need to go to Settings, and then you go to VT Host button here. So you'll get this screen. Now, I've entered a few hosts here already, and I'll do my first one, Winston. And I'm going to make sure to check um, admin rights. And let's make sure that stays there. So Winston, and then the password, and then... The one thing that you need to do, and again, we help you set this up, but there is a uh, transport directory that can that needs to live on the local computer. So we set that up for you. And then once we set up the profile, you can now schedule the host and what voice track jobs they get. <clears throat> now keep in mind, if has admin rights is checked, that means they can request any day, any hour. Um, if they're in the schedule and admin rights is not checked, they will only get the VT jobs that they are scheduled to do. So it's kind of a nice way to get organized with your host, not giving everyone complete control. And of course, if you do need complete control, you have has admin rights checked and that's it. So that is the overview of the NK manager and how it um, serves as the server for the mobile VT. Okay, so this is the mobile VT window that you will be displayed with uh, when you type in either the public or local IP address. You have to type in HTTPS colon slash slash and then the IP address. Um, this will work, like I said, on any iOS device, um, iPhone or iPad, Android tablets or phones. Also, um, Safari web browsers on Mac. Um, and then, of course... Um, the web browser on a PC. So it's extremely flexible. It'll work on any um, mobile device or even desktop device that can run a web browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process for importing and voice tracking and exporting. So we're gonna go to our menu. We're gonna hit import VT job. Um, now by default, uh, this will be empty. You'll need to type in the IP address or as a shortcut, you can just hit request available VT jobs that'll fill in the IP address for you. Um, then you can obviously type in your username and password. And then 
uh, request available VT jobs. This would be um, if you decided to not give the job admin rights, you would click here and request the available VT job. Um, for this demo, I'm going to show you the administration mode, which um, basically we're going to uh, request the current hour with the current date. So I hit that and my hour is now loaded. So I'm now ready to voice track. Um, to voice track any position, I'm just going to click the position that I'm ready to voice track in and I'm going to play the outgoing track, record the voice track, and uh, start the next song and stop recording. So let me show you that process. So there we go. That song is playing and it is at the end of the song. So we're gonna start recording here. Hi, we are demonstrating Mobile VT on NextCast. That was Calvin Harris coming up. We have David Guetta. And then when I'm done recording, I press um, the stop recording button. So now I can click that position and I can preview it. So go here. Hi, we are demonstrating Mobile VT on NextCast. That was Calvin Harris coming up. We have David Guetta. All right, so you get the general idea there and you can voice track multiple positions in the hour, obviously. Um, if you are doing semi-live voice tracking, you want to make sure you look at this total time area and you want to be about five minutes ahead of air time. So um, if it's, uh, you know, 2.30, you want to maybe voice track here and then you can get it back to the station in time. And that's kind of what we call semi-live voice tracking. Okay, the one other thing you can do too is you can move tracks around. So if I wanted to reorganize things, I can kind of move them there and we can shuffle things. The other cool thing we can do is we can insert a new track. So I can, let's see if there's any tracks. And I can just search the term and insert track. And you'll see that I inserted that track there. Um, and I can move it around as well. One other cool thing you can do is you can delete the voice track. So if you're not happy with it, you just hit delete and click the voice track and it will uh, delete that voice track and you can record it again. Another cool feature is the sample buttons. So I can um, lay down some local tracks like either from your phone or from the, the device, whatever device it is, point it to an audio file and that can be your music bed. So the voice track and the sample buttons record on the same track in, in the voice track. So again, that allows you to use um, background music or music beds. So once you're done uh, recording your voice tracks, uh, you basically go back to menu, export VT job, and then we hit upload done VT jobs. It'll take a second. And once it's cleared out like that, you know that the server has confirmed that it received that voice track. And we'll go back to the NK manager and I'll reload that hour. And there is the voice track we did. And that will play out um, at the time that it was supposed to be played out via the voice tracking. Thanks for checking out this video for the NextCast Mobile VT. If you have any more questions, you can go to our website at nextcast.com. Um, you can also find our phone number and email and all kinds of social media contacts there. So again, thanks for checking out NextCast.